Hello and welcome. Today we've got something up there for you. So, Hello and welcome. Do a little video here. Um, I've been getting a lot of people asking me the question on whether or not I was going to do this video review for this particular movie, movie review. Um, so, uh, it was always my intention to do it. And uh, after seeing the movie on Friday night, um, here it is. So, um, the question everybody's been asking is, who watches The Watchmen? Decompose watches The Watchmen. Here it is, your Watchmen movie review. So, sit down, stick around, and enjoy. Now, I've heard a lot about The Watchmen over the last few months. People saying, you can't make a movie of this, you can't do it. Uh, the book's too good, you can't make a movie off it, all that stuff. Um, First of all, I want to tip my hats off to uh, everybody who worked on the Watchmen movie because in my opinion, it's a pretty good movie. The movie is pretty much almost page for page, panel for panel, the comic book. Um, it's very close to the comic book. Some things are left out, like the whole pirate story and um, a few little things here and there. Uh, but overall, most of it is exactly from the comic book almost panel for panel at some points. The dialogue is pretty much all from the comic book. Maybe a few little things were tweaked. Um, but overall, pretty much the movie is the comic book. Except for the end of the movie. Um, this is pretty much where my discussion is going to go on this. A lot of the fanboys will say, ah, oh, you know, they shouldn't have changed the ending. You know, it was, you know, you can't tweak with this. You know, it was, it's great literature and whatnot. But seriously, when I read The Watchmen, the thing I didn't like the most about the whole story was the ending. Because in a comic book world, maybe it'd work. You know, maybe you can see this huge giant squid thing appear over New York and people would be like, oh, it's an alien, you know what I mean? But let's face it, you know, today's day, we're in the 2000s, almost in 2010. That won't work. Especially in a movie. If they reeled us in for the last three hours, you know, following these people, believing this is a plausible thing happening, and then foosh, throw us with some spaghetti squid monster at the end, it would have greatly hurt the movie, and just totally destroyed any credibility the movie had. It was fine for the 80s, you know, it was fine for the book, you know, it's kind of, you know, like, alien-ass, like, everybody's facing... Everybody joins together to face a common enemy, you know, which is cool. And that's still what happens in this. Still what happens in the movie, but it happens differently. Basically, uh, spoiler alert for those who haven't watched it. Um, people are led to believe that uh, Dr. Manhattan was the cause of it. Which, theoretically, he was, even in the book, because of his technology being used. Um, it actually teleports to Squid Monster. The Squid Monster doesn't really do anything. It's just the destruction of New York that's caused by the... By the John Osterman's, you know, technology. So, in the end, I mean, it's pretty much the same, except they didn't use the, the big monster in it, and they basically made people join together and rebel against him, rebel against Dr. Manhattan. And the, uh, the whole explosion thing doesn't only happen in New York, which makes sense, it happens all around the world. So, people from all countries are afraid of him, of Dr. Manhattan, so everybody gets together. So, basically, Ozymandias, he does what he wanted to do, still accomplishes what he accomplishes in a comic book and makes it a little more realistic. And then um, Dr. Manhattan just takes off from the planet like he said he would. He said he wanted to go try to create life somewhere. Awesome. Um, so for me, the movie was really good. Uh, it's three hours long. I didn't really find it long at all. I'm watching it, you know. And it's it, naturally, it, it helps if you actually read this before you go see it. You know, because you get a lot of the backstory, things that you don't really see happen, you know, that you know happen in the book. But for the most part, it's pretty well candidly identical to the book. So, uh, naturally, except for the ending, which I find was better pulled off in a movie than it was in a book. Um, so, yeah, so I guess overall, I really enjoyed the movie. I find the acting was good. 
the pace was good. It was a bit busy. A lot of stuff going on. Um, had and I have read the comic, would I have been maybe a little bit mixed up? Maybe. Um, I would have probably missed some little bits and pieces. Uh, not really understand who the hell Moloch is and stuff like that. But overall, I mean, the movie did do the comic book justice. And I know the fanboys out there might not think it did because they changed the ending or whatever. I'm a fanboy. I enjoyed it. So, um, again, if you haven't seen the movie yet, please uh, do so. Um, don't expect... I, I think people are expecting Watchmen after seeing Batman, uh, The Dark Knight, last summer. They're like, my God, it's a big comic book movie. It's like Batman and Iron Man. It's not the same thing at all. It's not a huge, super-duper action type, uh, you know what I mean, villain, good guy movie. That's not what it is. It's more like uh, dealing with the real issues of real superheroes if they'd exist, you know, in our world. And another thing about the movie, did anybody notice that Dick Nixon's nose is way too big? It's like freaking crazy. It's as if they would have, like, it's as if they somehow said, you know, think she's been here for three terms. He's like Pinocchio and it's, and it's been growing. Because Tricky Dick never had a nose like that. I mean, that's like, like, whoa. Anyway, every time I saw Tricky Dick on the screen, I'm like, holy shit, that nose is big. Anyways, so overall, the Watchmen movie, I liked it. I liked it a lot. It's a very good movie. Um, good for the comic book fans. The fans of the book should definitely go out and see it. Uh, give it a chance. And if you keep an open mind at the end of the movie, knowing that it's different from this, just know that, in my opinion, the end of the movie makes a lot more sense in this day and age than what was written back by Mr. Moore in the late 80s. So that's about it for my Watchmen review. So until next time guys, later.